So it has to happen occasionally. Most of the time, people respect the murals. In fact, if you put a mural on the wall that's being tagged, it often doesn't get tagged again. However, there's always some little person who thinks it's funny to come along and deface it, and unfortunately, that's happened to the bug today. I was out on a bike ride and I was told, come along, we're going to be cleaning it. So this is a quick shot. Kim's here. She's got a pressure cook, pressure, pressure cooker. A, <laughs> she's got a, start again. She's got a pressure washer that looks like it would knock the QE2 over. It's huge. Um, I'm going to stand at a very safe distance because she's not used it before. But the idea is this is going to be cleaned off. It's 11 years old now. It's going to be cleaned off and it's going to be repainted. The shape will stay the same but the innards. A bit like, who was it? The right notes, but not necessarily in the right order. So watch this space for development. But for now, let's see the mic. We're back at the bug in Glastonbury. The other day we, we saw Kim here behind me cleaning it down after it had been graffitied and the decision was taken that it's been here 11 years, I believe. It's time for a repaint. So we're down here this morning and I thought I'd take the opportunity to come and talk to Kim, who is after all one of the artists on the, the uh, mural trail as well as the driving force behind it. So today's Meet the Artist is Kim Coles. Okay, so here we are now with Kim. Hello, Kim. Hi, Gabriel. Hello. Uh, fancy seeing you here. Well, indeed. I mean, normally we talk with your um, driving force behind the mural trail hat on. Yeah. Today you've got a different hat on, I'm pleased to say. You have a paintbrush in your hand, which means you've got your I'm an artist hat on. I am. Today, Gabriel, I am an artist. So here we are meeting an artist, the, the Kim Coles. Now, you have got many, many paintings on walls around town, haven't you? Um, there's a few, three or four maybe. Mm -hmm. This is, um, yeah, here's my son telling me all about it. Um, yeah. yeah, we have the sugar skull. So I usually, or I used to paint quite often yeah. before the mural trail existed. Excuse my dog. Mm -hmm. It's kind of one of the reasons the mural trail came into existence because me and a few other artists around town used to paint walls yeah. with and without permission. So yeah, I have a few paintings around town. Uh, this is one that's about 11 years old. We're repainting it today because it was tagged recently and all the colours had faded and stuff, so we figured it's a good idea to just the give it an overhaul. Right. Uh, originally I painted it with two other artists, um, Sophie Alexi, who now is in Spain, and Flo Lippin, who did the burg in the middle. She's from Shepton, but she's painting other stuff at the moment, so I've just painted over that bit for her. I painted quite a few murals with Sophie. We did the Sugar Skull down at the bottom of St John's Car Park and we did the flowers on Manor House Road together. But yeah, um, she lives in Spain now so she's not able to help me repair this one, but I miss her. I wish she was here. But, and I also painted, there's a moth at Abbey Park. There is. The, unfi the ever unfinished moth. And Which is work in progress. Yeah, yeah, work in progress, exactly. <laughs> and I'm trying to think if there's anything else I painted. There's, I've got one in my garden but it's not really on the trail because it's in, your garden. in my garden, exactly. Um, that is an undisclosed location, by the mm. way. Yeah, this is, this is one of the earliest ones. Mm. 11 years it's been in. Wow. A long time. In fact, I was looking the other day on Google Maps, and Google Maps now, you probably know, 3Ds everything, so it looks like you're actually having a drone looking down. And it's amazing, because I think they're using old images, because there's no, no wall art anywhere. This wall is still oh, really? bare. really? Wow, yeah. OK, that must be really long time and ago. It really does. The town looks quite drab as a result. It's amazing. These are absolutely transforming the town. I'm glad you think so. Oh, I do. I'm, it's not just me. I've been here this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, I have actually painted some of this. <laughs> Over there was my bitch. Your, Gabriel your... is now an artist. Now I'm an artist. So you're going to meet me in a minute. You're going to meet the artist. People walking past, the smiles on their faces. They stop, they talk to you. They say how much they love the artwork on the wall. I mean, it is transforming this town wall by wall, isn't it? 
It's like there's a tagline for you there. Transforming the town wall by wall. I'll write that down. Just a pretty good. Yeah, no, it's one. it's very it's a very rewarding project. We had a little girl, Olive, who came and visited me earlier. She lives nearby. Uh -huh. She wanted to come and say hello. And um, and she walks past this mural every day. She lives just there. Yeah. She said we should paint a butterfly next, so it's Ooh. on the list of things to do is paint a butterfly. Yeah? You're going to help me, Zali? My son's going to help me paint a butterfly. Yes, we'll talk to Zali in a minute because he's busy painting the walls. Yeah, there's a few more lined up. I mean, uh, there's a lady who has a wall on Bove Town who approached us recently. She'd like some kind of foliage and plants. So there's there's new things kind of popping up all the time. Um, um, Patricia, if you're watching this over in where you are in Glastonbury, I won't say on, on camera, but this is Kim, who I've given Hi, your details to about your little bit of wall. Um, Size doesn't matter, it's what goes on it. Absolutely, important. if anybody has a wall that you can see from any public place, so from a road or a pavement or a path or a park, if you have a wall and you think you would like a mural on it, you get a say in what gets painted, then just get in touch, glastonburymuraltrail.co.uk. There's an online form you can fill in and um, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Well, if that's too complicated, in the description below, just tell me and I'll put you in touch like I am doing with uh, Patricia there. Excellent. And if you want to sponsor a mural, which would be even better, because all of this done is done by volunteers and with donations, then again, either get in touch through the comments below or visit the website. We've got a page you can either donate or you can become an official sponsor. You get thanks and you get a, your logo on the website and you get a name on the leaflet and you get put on social media as a sponsor. And um, obviously you get to uh, enjoy you are in the town. And all that other good stuff. Absolutely. Well, I guess we'd better go and talk to the boss down here, haven't we? Oh, the little boss. The, the little Zali boss. boss. The Zali boss. Hey, Zali. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm going to come down here and talk to you. Is that all right? Right, so this is Zali. This is the newest artist on the back of the uh, real mural trail. The, thank you. This is Zali, the latest artist on the mural trail here in Glastonbury, and he's busy painting the lilac wings in. So how did you get involved with this, Zali? So, it's all because of my mum. She created the mural trail, so I got into painting. Basically, I do it every now and then. Uh, I sometimes help paint murals. Mm. There's not many chaps your age who've painted wall murals, are there? No. You must be quite unique, really. What's it like being a unique wall artist? Mm. Are you good? I guess it just feels the same of being an adult artist, I guess. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll come back and ask you when you're an adult, shall we? And you, you'll, you'll confirm that. Okay. So I've done about you, but I painted some of the, some of the bits up there. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, and I I can't wait for when it's finished. I can walk past this past this and think I did that because I could never draw or do anything artistic as a kid or any, as an adult even. I tried. I'm no good at it. So to have my brush strokes on the wall made my day today. And of course, if anybody else you know wants to get involved in in work like this, there are opportunities for you just to come down and have a little dabble with a brush. I'm sure Kim's quite happy for people yeah, to come and help. Um, so if, always if, appreciate volunteers. If like me, you, you want to, you know, think, oh, I did that, or I helped do that. It's a great feeling because the number of people walking past these artworks, the smile on their faces, they love them, and it really brightens the town up. And as we said earlier on, we're we're transforming the town here wall by wall. I've got a question for you. Okay. My question is, what is your favourite mural? I like the sugar skull. Sugar skull. Did you help paint that as well? No, I was. Um, yeah. Ah. Yeah, Sophie and Kim painted it. Ah, Sophie's the one in Spain, isn't she? Mhm. Mm yeah, because she worked on this one, as your mum just said. So mm -hmm. maybe next time she comes back, she could paint another one, and you could help her this time. I guess so. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Well, thank you for talking to me. Um, I'm going to let you guys get on with it now because there's an awful lot of work to be done and uh, while you're sitting here talking to me you can't do the work can you? Well I guess we can. Yeah well I guess you can yeah. <laughs> okay. They say never work with animals and kids. They were right but never mind we'll make an exception. Zali it's been great talking to you buddy and you too Kim. Thank you so much for letting me paint some of the wall and talking to you today. And, uh,
I will come back and I will also be coming back um, because I'll have to put this back on the mural trail map. GlastonburyMuralTrail.co.uk is the website and on that website is the virtual map. Go to the murals page and it's at the top of the page, click on it, it takes you to a link. There you go. Do go there. It is under development still. Um, there's a point soon where you'll be able to click on the 360 when you get there and it will tell you all about the artists who painted it and their other works. Because a lot of the artists on this trail have got multiple paintings, like DMK and very, like even Kim and other people that have got multiple paintings, so you'll be able to link those up. So if you've got a particular artist that you like, you can look for them and you'll be able to go see where their paintings are, which again is quite unique. So thank you for coming along and watching this today. I will be coming back when it's finished to put it on the 360. Um, but for now, from the bug, it's goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.